Hello, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. My name, my name is Eleanor G. Rigmonga. Eleanor G. Rigmonga? Yes, hello. Hello. How was your day at the factory? What factory, motherfucker? I thought you were sewing today. Oh, yes, I was sewing sewing at the the factory. factory. And we were making this quilt made out of um, foot. Foot? Is it that foot? Okay, can I just say something? Yeah. I haven't slept in like two days. <laughs> I haven't slept like two days, so this is gonna go real crazy because, because I, I, you know what? I want to do a good job too because we have such a good guest. Oh damn! I'm frightened. I'm frightened of what I might do and what my, what I might say. <laughs> do the top countdown again. I gotta start over. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> My name is Robert McNorro. Hello. <laughs> We've got um, George in the house. We've got Kolai. Oh, God. fuck you, mate. Kalila. We got Kalila. We got Gilbert. Hello. We got uh, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce, who wants to fuck my girlfriend? No. Bryce, you got those fuck no. eyes. You got fuck eyes all the time. He doesn't have fuck eyes today. I'm telling you right now, Bryce, um, out of all the dudes, you're probably going to be the one. Oh. I, I, I would be, I'd be okay with it. The one to what? <laughs> you're not allowed. Just to be, no, just to pursue it. But you're not going to give it to him, I know. Oh, I thought you meant the one that I would... That you sell her to. <laughs> no. You're pawning me off to... You know, if, if, she, it was, if human slavery was in and yeah. it wasn't illegal, I would sell her to you. Oh my god! For a lot of money, for like a hundred bucks. Because he's like, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot that's of a, money that's a for a whole for that's human a being. whole bill. You know what I mean? You're worth it, babe. You're worth it. Yeah. Uh, but our guest tonight <laughs> from Just Kidding Films, Joe Jitsukawa. Yeah. What's Thank up, you Joe? for having me, Bobby. Jojo. Finally. Yeah. Well, you know, we got the two more important people <laughs> from Just Kidding Films out of the way. You I'm know, the we most got, important. Just listen, one. listen, listen, man. We got Bark Juan out of the way, Giovanni. They're the leaders, and they're the main ones. They're my and we side just, bitches. I don't know, but we decided to, you know, just kind of clean up and get the like the back people. Then we had then the extras. We had, okay, okay. Then we had <laughs> Dave, okay, that's then we cool. had that's David cool. So four times. We have had David, David So three times. Okay. Yeah, he's David's one of the main okay. guys too. Even on our live shows, he's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Joe, you've been. You, I'm telling you right now, you were the you're the number one. Yeah. And I don't know why the fuck. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Man. What was that? That's awesome. Hello. I do that, that all the time. I get in trouble. Time. But the thing is, is that um, you've always been in the, the number one. But I don't know, like whoever fucking booked it, you're like Geo's coming. Who's Geo? <laughs> Who is? That? And then she exactly. shows up, and I'm like, what the fuck? Bart Kwan's coming. I don't know that fool. You texted Bart. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know. That's that right. First, but I always yeah. Wanted. Every time. But Joe Chitakawa. When I was in France, and then and in Bart, you had Bart on the show. Yeah, my heart ripped apart. He was pissed. Why? He, I was sad, dude. Why? Because I actually listened to Tiger Belly. I know those <laughs> fools are. I know they don't care about I, they you. Don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't even care. They or, don't. I'm just backstabbing they, them right now. I know, but they are. Um, they're fakers, and I can tell by them. <laughs> they're not real people. When oh, they you dude, talk to real, you can't say. Oh, it. now look what you did. Yeah, yeah I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. You I can't, can't do it, can you? I can't. I can't. She I tried. love them too You know, much. this was a no, test. I can't. You know, they they called me to test you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. They called me to test you, and you passed the test. You're awesome. a true friend. <laughs> wow. And can I also like? You know why I like you? You're, you know, every Asian. There's like two types. Yeah. There's regular, and this is my favorite type. Cross-eyed. Cross- <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite cross-eyed Asian guy. <laughs> You you know who else has a Jamie Chung a little bit. You know Jamie Chung, oh, the yeah, actress. She, she has a little Wait. bit of cross eye. I do too. You have a little cross mm-hmm. eye. Really? I love cross That's eye awesome. because it means you're a little retarded. <laughs> it means that you you are, there's a little bit of something missing. Yeah. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Special. And out of all the um, just kidding um, people, I think that you are the most similar to me. Mm-hmm. I'd say mm. so. People Inter- have said that you are my future. That's not good for you. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. I think it's a great How the goal fuck to have. does that feel good? It makes me feel awesome. This is what you want? This piece of shit? Yeah. You have awesome friends. 
beautiful I have girlfriend. No friends. He, if two we, dogs, they don't like me. <laughs> they bite him all yeah. the time. Yeah, they I generally, awesome I night. generally, you know, I think the only one that in this world that really, I think, vaguely loves me deeply <laughs> is Kalila. <laughs> vaguely, vaguely, yeah, yeah. I, I love think, you. I think my parents. I think my parents love me, kind of. Steve loves, relies, you know. Kalila <laughs> loves intensely. Intense. Well, okay. Intensely. Vaguely. <laughs> Not. I vaguely. think Gilbert. Um, he's off and on. You know. <laughs> yeah. I think George. Secret. I don't know where. I think he secretly, secretly hate. <laughs> hates me. I think he secretly hates me. Bryce. I don't give a fuck what Bryce says. <laughs> but, um, but my point is, is that you don't want to be me, man. You want to be you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to have a brighter future than me. <laughs> or I really do. Okay, because a hundred percent. It's at the end of the road for me, my friend. Really? Uh, no, it's not. I think you're just getting started. No, I might. Um, my neck hurts. Oh. Yeah. I've been having a lot of diarrhea. Mm -hmm. I, I had to take um, a modium eighty at the airport again. Oh shit! In Chicago. Oh my god! There was a. What happened? <laughs> I was with Jade Caterpillar, and we got there a little early. And we went to this like Italian breakfast place, and they had these little sausages, and I ate one, and I could hear my store, like you know, you know, mm. you know, the party starting. Oh yeah, you know, people are arriving. You know what I mean? There's like you know, DJ, yeah, yeah. <laughs> music going on. You know, yeah, people dancing, in my stomach. yeah. And I, go, I gotta go, so I go to the bathroom. It was one of those things like I had to go right then and there, and then there was a line to the toilets, like eight dudes. We're leaning against a wall. Oh, no. These guys, white people take the longest shits. Yeah. They read. Mm -hmm. Right? They read. Taxes. They, they, they listen to music. I don't know what they do in there. Taxes. Do taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they, they want to get, every, I think they want to, how long does it take you to shit? Oh, it depends. Usually it's pretty fast. Do I'd you wash like or just wipe? Uh, I use those wipey, those wet oh, wipes. Wet now. wipes, yeah, yeah. But at and the we, airport, you were use wet wipes? Oh, no, no. I wish I carried them, though. I know, me too. Yeah. I wish I had them on me, too. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't fucking have them on no, you. No, I don't. I wish I had a lot of things when yeah. I'm taking a shit at the airport. But, like, how long? Do you, do you just give me a, a thing. Uh, five to ten minutes. Ten That's minutes a is, long like, really relaxed. No, time. baby, these people... 20, 30 minutes. No. That's, I'm not that's kidding. How, and they would come out with their little briefcase and they would do their tie. But that's how oh, you get... Oh, they take everything off too. I yeah. go, what did you unload in there? Yeah, but that's how you get boot boot. Hem um, hemorrhoids? hemorrhoids? Yeah. <laughs> you know Wait, what? what? What's, how the oh, fuck did you know? How the fuck do you know what boot boot is, bro? It's context. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that is. That's how you get boot boot. <laughs> What's boot boot? Boot boot is, you know, yeah, the Christmas oh, so wreath pushing in your butt. Too, they're pushing too, too hard. hard. Yes. Yeah, yeah, holiday wreath. So they, you know, <laughs> after like, like after you do a flush, you knew that someone was going to come out mm. and some other person was going to get a stall. So the sh line got shorter. Oh, no. But dude, it was like, just breathe. Slow your breathing. Yeah. And when I finally get in there, and I timed it three minutes. See, efficient. Yeah. Efficient. I just get it out all you know, in three minutes. I should but time it, it. But not only that, yeah. is I know that there's a line. So you're like, you know, that's a part of it. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, it's my time now. Yeah. Now they're going to wait. <laughs> like, white people are selfish. <laughs> You know what, I mean? what I'm thinking, dude, is like, I should shit really quickly because I, I know how they're feeling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like you, George. I'm tired of people like you, man. Oh, George. If I have to stay waiting in line, I'm taking my time. You look like oh, you wow. take your time at the shitter. You look like a selfish time, white guy. Done. Oh, my you, are you married? No. You got a girlfriend, though? Yeah. Who is it? <laughs> Uh, Jessica, Very I showed you her girl. picture. Very. Yeah. Oh, the white girl. Yeah, and you're like, you're not gonna get any better than this, and I'm like, that's probably true, because <laughs> she's awesome, but she takes long shit. How long no, have you guys been why. together? Uh, about three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. But so, going back to the shit thing, yeah. though, that's another thing that yeah. we connect on. I have IBS too. Oh. What's IBS? Irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. syndrome. Yeah. How do you know that I have it? It sounds like it. Sounds like, like it. Like it. <laughs> well, pretty much. Is it like that all the time? You have to shit. Really bad urgency. Or yeah, I, 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 yeah, at least twice, um, three times a month. Oh, what? wait, there's an emergency. Shit three times a month? No, there's no. an emergency. An urgent of like, one, an urgent shit. Like, you right? Oh yeah. No, it used to be pretty bad for me. Like every morning. Well, your diet's better. Yeah, and I work out now, and I got, I got a lot better. But it was like every morning, and I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes too. So like the first thing I did was smoke, and then diarrhea all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I, I, it's been seven months. I haven't smoked. Oh really? Yeah. Because yeah. I remember you told me when you were quitting drugs and all that stuff. You're like, talk to me when you wanna, 
you know, fix yourself and do all that stuff. And I was like, oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> fix, fix yourself. Yeah. I was like, you're awesome, Bobby. No I'm one's not, ever said that I'm to me. I'm not that guy anymore. Hey, come to me. Oh, you know, you're I'm like, don't come to me. Come well, to me I never asked you, yourself. though. Yeah, 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 I'm a destroyer. <laughs> yeah, but the thought was awesome. Yeah, the yeah, thought yeah. was awesome. Because I did a lot of drugs. What, what? Were, what kind of drugs? Uh, I did a lot of E. I smoked a lot of weed. I smoked rock a couple times. Mm. I probably did every single drug known mm. to man except for heroin and shrooms. Yeah, you're But just in like a party... Um, Party level, right? Not uh, like a daily time, no, thing. I mean, it got to the point where like I just do it by myself at home too. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. So that was like from fourteen to maybe twenty-one. Whoa, 22. you're so much like me. My really? God! <laughs> yeah, you started young like him. Yeah, yeah. When was your first cigarette? Oh, I was gonna miss me eleven, twelve. Oh, yeah, 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 around there, twelve. Yeah, yeah. You and I are very similar in many ways. That's we kind of look man. similar almost. I know. <laughs> there was this Bart took this picture. Yeah. Of you and me side to side when I gained weight and then I was doing this pose. <laughs> whoa, 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 back up that story. Back up, back up, Let's get details out yeah, there. Yeah. I used to be really skinny. That's why. No, no, no. When you gained weight, <laughs> you said. Well, yeah. That's when, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When you gained weight is when you started looking like. <laughs> Let well, you, no, that's a piece of blood. Well, because you, you fucking have a, said it, bro. Because you have a belly. I never had a belly before. <laughs> Just say fat. It's fine. I don't want to be called that. I get hurt. All right. Well, okay. All so when I was, is, when you were fat, you looked like me, and and Bar took a photo. No, and then he put your photo and my photo together, uh -huh. and then he, yeah, he was like, "Oh, it looks like uh, you guys are brothers," and I'm like, "That's actually kind of cool." Oh wow, that feels good. <laughs> that feels real good, Fat Joe. Let me ask you something: Who started get Just Kidding News? I mean, guess just kidding films. Well, yeah, in 2007, um, I started making YouTube videos, and then Bart was like, all right, I'm going to make one too. And then we started battling it out, and I was like, let's just create a channel together. So um, it was just me and Bart at the very beginning. Cool. Yeah. And then what happened? Who joined after that? Uh, about three years later, Bart um, was dating Gio, and then Gio came in and started helping us out. Right. Mm -hmm. And then um, when did Gina come in and... Well, Gina's really not officially JK. She's kind of like an extended family member. Uh, yeah. Who's the real core then? Um, you, Bart. Casey came in next. Which one's Casey? Casey is Tiffany's boyfriend. I don't think you've met him I've yet. I've never met that Hus fool. Husband. Yeah. Husband. Husband. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Tiffany. I've been around him for so long. You're friends I forget. with him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tiffany, Tiffany is Mexican. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And she She's has an Asian. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about your girl, though. She's white. Yes. What is, is that your first white girlfriend? Uh, no, but first really serious live together kind. So you you generally only date white chicks? No, 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 no. I've generally dated Asian girls, like ninety percent. Does it feel different when you're dating a white girl? Um, a hundred percent. Like the cultural things that we go through. I mean, she's also from Texas and from a small oh, wow. town, oh. so she's not from L.A. Yeah, I so grew, I totally dated a girl different. from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's cultural. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of things that I found out about myself. Like, oh man, I'm an old Japanese dad, dude. I didn't yeah. even know that. I but had no idea. How she, so? Yeah, uh, why? Um, you know, it's just I don't know how to explain myself. I don't know how to debate. I don't know how to think logically. Sometimes yeah. I'm just I go straight into like, no, you gotta listen because you gotta listen. <laughs> and it, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, why do I do that? I hate that. I want to think clearly. Yeah. You know, I want to be better. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're a man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that too, Bobby? Yeah, but you know what? I, I, you got to adapt. You got to change. You know, right? I, yeah. You're um. So you're 100 percent Japanese. Yes. And um, our That's Japanese weird. parents compare Japanese parents versus Real Korean weird. parents growing up. Why'd you oppress us? Dude? I. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta oppress people? Yeah. Why? Why did? You, why did your people I, oppress Korea? I have a lot of Japanese American family members that were in the military in the U.S. But also no, on the other side too. No, that's not what I'm talking about. On both about. sides. Oh, on both oh, sides. So both what sides. I'm talking about. Oh, what? I have, on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have family members who are a part of the U.S. military during World War II. No. As well as family members that were in Japan. What? They were World War II family members? Was in Japan. They had there was the Japanese people here in, you know, we, there was Japanese internment, all that stuff. Yeah. There were Japanese in America. They were in the military. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard of the 442nd? It's oh, the yeah, yeah, I saw the movie. De decorated. U.S. Yeah. military yeah. unit with the most pop purple hearts and all that. It's a Japanese American unit, Whoa. and there were Koreans in there too. Oh, two, two. There's yeah. got to be two. <laughs> there were two. no, there were there were a few Koreans. Yeah, really. Yeah. Were they treated like shit though? 
Uh, yeah, probably, they, you know, you know the you names know. that they would say probably. I Yo, hot sing, get in the plane. Oh, you know what I mean? Or the <laughs> imagine because the races that we experience now. Yeah. Imagine crazy, what it was back then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Ching Chong. Yeah. Oh, Ching Chong, Ching Chong, Ching Chong. Right, and they're like, dude, I, you know, like, we're on the same team. <laughs> yeah, I know Ching Chong, Ching Chong. Ching Chong. It's like, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, I guess, oh my yeah. god. Because imagine what African Americans went through and whatnot, yeah. but. Imagine the few, the 10 or 15 or 20, <laughs> you know, Asian dudes that yeah. were in the American military in World War II. Oh, yeah. The fucking kind of bullshit that. Um, oh, I mean, that's why the Chinese and Koreans had to go to the Japanese unit because they were being treated like, uh, you know, a bunch of Japanese, Japanese. scoundrels. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Whoa, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. How do you know so much? I love history, man. Weren't you in the military? No, Bart was. Bart yeah, was yeah, in the yeah. military. Bart this guy military. in the military? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I believe it. No, I don't, really? man. No. no. <laughs> they don't have cross eyes. So back to <laughs> Japanese versus <laughs> Korean parenting. What do you think are the differences? What were your parents okay. like? You know what's crazy? Um, I mean, I grew up with a lot of Koreans and going to their house and just seeing how everything operates. I think we're the closest from all the other Asians. Like, you know, it's just the way that it's, it's kind of like a dictatorship, you know? And especially if, if like, your parents are just got anger problems and they're just always yelling for no reason and mm. I don't know it's it's weird but I, I think I see it in the Korean home too it's really similar I mean the things that you would your life is constantly threatened like in Korean they say uh, you know if I translate it it would be this is what you would hear clean your room or you're gonna die <laughs> oh shoot you're like six Jeez. you know I'm gonna kill you and throw you away like that's the kind of language the Asian par Korean parents used. You know, my dad was so fucking scary, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, you are. Right. And he would just he would take. I remember one time we were eating and he fucking flipped the fucking food. All the food hit the ceiling, right? And he chased everyone through the. Oh man. And he caught everyone and like he fucking beat the shit out of them. The. F yeah. yeah. Why are you laughing? No, no, no. I and just... that's why God gave him a stroke. <laughs> oh. oh my God, Bobby! No, it's too much. Too far. <laughs> I took that too was far. too far. Dad, I love you. I, I and, understand and, that and, and a speedy recovery to you. Yeah. I, I understand that feeling though. Sometimes, because I told my dad, I was like, "You keep beating me. Just wait till I become the same size as you. I'm gonna fuck you up." And oh, he damn. beat me even harder. Oh yeah. <laughs> How old were you? I was about 11 or 10. Oh, you talk Damn. bad. Yeah, yeah. No, because I, I mean, at that age, you're growing, right? And yeah. you're like, just a couple more years. Just watch, fool. Just watch. My, Shank my, you. my brother. Did you ever square up to him as an adult? No, because he ran away when I was 14. So at that time, it was like. Well, your oh, dad ran away? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't get revenge. Oh, your dad left you guys? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, that's so sad. So I never had the revenge that I wanted. And so it, you don't have a relationship with your dad now? No. I, he's somewhere in West LA or something. People told me. Wait, he's here? Wait, he's yeah. in LA? He's, he's he's somewhere. You're that oh my god. Yeah. What's his name? I can't say. <laughs> so okay. I don't want people to find him. So he just took off, basically. He left but he, with Right. Stop. But he's no no stop. He's Japanese. Okay. <laughs> just listen. He's Japanese. Yes. He lives in West LA. <laughs> yes. Okay. And he vaguely looks like you but older. Yeah. Okay. I, I I'm so. gonna find him. Okay. And, and I am gonna, I'm gonna have a conversation. Send okay. us sketches. Any older Japanese dude in his fifties, <laughs> you're gonna start talking. Hey, you know Joe? What what what's your last name, sir? <laughs> he goes Jitokawa, right? <laughs> oh, you fucking motherfucker, leave him. You left him. Yeah. He, who else do you have brothers and sisters? I have an older brother. Yeah. Oh my god, that must have been so painful yeah. when he left. Or was it a relief for you? For what? I mean, like you said, that you had a. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. you meant my brother. No, oh, no, 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 like a contentious me. relationship. Yeah, with your dad. it was. It made my relationship with my mom stronger. Mm. So when people go, "Oh, he left," it was like, "Well, it's actually better because there was no more violence." Mm. And then me and my mom started bonding better. We, you know, we did what we had to to like make ends meet, and then through that struggle, I think oh, it, it got yeah. really so. good. I, and this you know? is why I always, uh, you know tell my friends who are going through either a divorce or are like contemplating it but they say no we have to stay together because of the kids and I'm like that's not healthy for children to see toxic relationships or right. like abusive relationships either it's better that you part ways and they live in two healthy households versus or one healthy household versus you know a family that stays together that's just fucking you know 100% yeah I just want to give a hug right now oh, it makes me so sad He's very cool, emotionally man. all over the place. No, it yeah. makes me so sad that oh, he loved you when you died. 
I'm being real. He just said it was better for all of us. I that. know, but it just makes it just makes me so angry. Let me ask you this. You don't ever want to see him? Um, no, not really. Maybe. But how, how, I, how? I made it I, I made closure. How? How and when? Um I think it took many, many years because there was a lot of resentment mm -hmm. and a lot of these feelings of like Man, I wish I had a like I would see other people's dads yeah. and then be like, man, your dad takes care of you. Your dad loves you. He sits you down. He mm -hmm. talks to you. He gives you life advice, all that stuff. I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. I had to learn a lot on my own. But I started creating father figures from my friend's dad. Like right here. Uncle. Right. Like and, me. <laughs> and yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Right here. Dude. I look up I'm to your you, dad, Bobby. Really? Yeah. To be honest with you. <laughs> I raised you, bro. You know his Thank real you, last Bobby. name? You know yeah. Bobby's real last yeah. name? Yeah. <laughs> what if it was? That'd oh my god, what if, what if I was your dad? No, you would know. You would know, right? You would know. <laughs> you that would really be young nuts. daddy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, what I want to know is this How do you have two sons, mm -hmm. raise them until they're in their teen teenage years, and then just leave and then not want to see them again? My brother's 12 years older than me, so he was like, oh. way. Yeah, so yeah. how does that, how do, you, how, how do you do that as a human being? Well, going back to the closure thing, what I realized is that my dad never really had a father either. So he was, you know, born to a really rich CEO, my grandpa, um, that just popped him out. And then his mom died during giving ch childbirth. Oh. Oh. So Whoa. at that time, yeah. And then he had like 10 brothers and sisters because, you know, that time everyone had a right. bunch of kids. Right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, my grandpa would just have them being taken care of by all these other people. So he was just being passed around. Oh. So he, never oh. he never understood like a, fa he a real family unit either. He doesn't. So my mom was explaining to me like, you know, we should have sympathy for the guy because he grew up really shitty. So he, he did better than his own situation. And that's all we got to look forward to. I mean, yeah. But yeah. do you ever wonder, I, I, like, what I, if he started, what do you feel like half siblings? Or what if he's like started another family with somebody? I would, that would be insane. But I'm glad I'm with a white girl because I'm not going to be fucking my sister. I, I, <laughs> I don't buy. I don't buy what you just said, man. I'll tell you another story. Can I hear it? About hear what? Story? Okay. what part what, didn't what part? you buy? Well, I just buy that. Oh, well, he should have sympathy because he didn't have, a, you know. Up the, you know his upbringing and Wait, this and that, right? The man needs closure. That was it. I know, but I'm going to tell you. I'll, I'll <laughs> tell no, you, you story. can pick at it. Go ahead. Uh, there was a there was a kid, right? Mm -hmm. His dad left him when he was like what, a kid, right? His yeah. mom, a southern mom, raised him, mm -hmm. and um, he had really just he was lost. He smoked pot, this and that, and um, then he went to college, and then he went to Harvard, you know, mm -hmm. law school, and he became the president of the United States. Obama. Oh, Obama. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, you could right. yeah. you could take his story and go, well, you know, his dad was, you know, he, he wasn't around. He was an asshole. And then he went, no, I'm going to be there for my kids. I am going to be the president of the United States. Yeah. yeah. You know, That's so true. I don't buy that shit. Well, I, I'm going to be. Know what I mean? I'm going to be, gonna the be one. a great. Yeah. 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 I'm He's not going to make Obama. the same mistake. No, but he didn't. Your dad. Your dad, yeah. right, had those circumstances. Oh, I, and yeah, when I'm not going to be a man, yeah, and I'm yeah, not yeah. going to fucking fulfill my obligation. Plus, how do you not have love for a kid? <laughs> I, this fucking piece of shit dog right here, <laughs> this Remy, just listen to me, right? A month and a half ago, she's like, "I'm just gonna, we're just gonna um, dog, you know, um, do a dog rescue." Yeah, I'm like this piece of shit right here. I fucking love this dog now, like like it's my an extension of myself. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I have a heart mm -hmm. you know and i there you know regardless of all the abuse that i felt regardless of just all the broken relationships and the sad things that happened to bobby lee poor me right at the end of the day i have love in my heart i do i have when i see things on tv that's sad i cry i can't you know what if the fuck are you doing right now nothing he just he, he's he's giving me no 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 what the fuck are you doing right now man <laughs> yeah, I understand that, he's right? The but there's a time and place, bro. I know he's, he's having a moment. I was in a fucking yeah. moment right now, dude, and yeah. you fucked it up, George. You got Come up on, in, George. I'm sorry, sir. You got up in the middle of the movie. Like today, you know what, George? Today, right? We had in the house, right? Because we were doing this thing for Theo Vaughn. Yeah. We had Jordy, an exec, uh, one of the executives at Comedy Central, right? We had a bunch of fucking people in the house, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this guy, George. This guy, George. He's the best. He wants to do what you want to do. I've been telling you, talking about you the whole day. 
And that's the kind of shit you fucking pull, dude? Do you fucking believe this shit? Unbelievable. <laughs> Shut up, right? You saw it, right? Oh my god. I was in a fucking thing, dude. You gotta check yourself about the heart. Check yourself. All right. Bro. On that note, can we take a break? Yeah, we'll for take a break. Our we'll sponsor. Take a break. We'll take a break. Uh, sponsor. Blue Apron. Yeah, yeah. Blue uh, Apron. Mm. <laughs> Blue Apron. <laughs> it, it, you like gording on deliciousness? Oh, yeah. You like gorging your body with deliciousness? I do. I do. Blue Apron is the way to go, man. Fresh meals coming to your house. Mm -hmm. Easy menus. You can cook it up at your house. You know, even like dummies like me can do it. Oh. And it's fresh ingredients. Tell them about it. It's delicious. Exactly, right? It is freaking, Am I right? I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm always right. And the meat is sourced responsibly. For someone like me, that's really important. Yeah, they massage these animals. <laughs> well, I don't know that part. I, we don't know about but that part, but they're- It tastes like it's yeah, 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 yeah. That's the key. Yeah. Blue Apron is treating Tiger Belly listeners to $30 off your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash belly. So check out this week's menu and get $30 off at blueapron.com slash belly. Blue! Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Blue Apron! Yum. That's great. Wow. I love Blue Apron. It's delicious. It's so good. It's delicious. Do you like it, Joe? It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But, you know, there's manners. You know, there's you hear, that's another thing I was going to, the rant I was right. going to say, right? You're born with, um, regardless of what's going on, right? Like Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm -hmm. He had a, a fucked up, up, you know? Yep. But they start killing animals, mm -hmm. right? Some people do that, and then they start eating dick. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh whatever. You know, because it's not good enough, and it has to go crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, and yeah. then some people are like, will interrupt people with signs. Oh. <laughs> Do you understand how that works? There's, it comes out in different ways. Oh, it man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It manifests in different, different ways. What is next? He's gonna start eating dicks. Oh, <laughs> you know, George. Sponsor signs the eating. Yeah. <laughs> like you know why I like Kyla? When I love her, why I love her? Why? She's got her fucking character defects. <laughs> Lists of them. Okay. <laughs> But I know that she she's a good woman. Oh, thanks. No, no, I'm being real. Like, she, her love for animals, right? Her love for her sister and her mom and Roger. Mm -hmm. Her, She has a love. She has good friends, right? She meets people. People like, you know, I, you, you, all those little things, right? She would never interact. Okay. That yeah. I would never do, George. That was fucking your crazy. Bad. That was crazy. Out there. But my point is, is this. <laughs> that's how, so what I'm saying is your dad, there's no excuse for exactly. your dad. Fuck your dad. Right. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck your dad. Boy. And I am going to find your dad. You don't think Please. I will? Yeah. What's his name? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know what last the name, though? Is? Jitsukawa? You know what the truth is? What? Sometimes I do think about finding him so yeah. I can punch him in the throat yeah. a million times. And then... Be like, hey, finally, now you know what it feels like to get beat, motherfucker. Wow. Damn. That's the real feeling there, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. But that's, that's what heavy. makes you such a strong person is because you wouldn't do that. No, I think that you... Oh, when my dad had a stroke, yeah, and I looked at him, him and when he was in the hospital, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, so this is my chance. <laughs> yeah. When he can't fight back. Just one throat sock, you know what I mean? And then, you know. And call the nurse. Hey, he's having a problem. And also, I almost, in my head, I'm like, this is a prayer I had 30 years too late. I prayed that he would have a stroke when he was a dick back in the day. Yeah. And then God went, oh, wait 30 years. Well, he had a lot of When he of became cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And my dad softened over the years. Mm. And my dad, I became, I, be, I fell in love with my dad in my 20s and 30s. Mm. Mm. But as a kid, I hated him. But, you know, we, him and I were able to find deep love. My brother, too. We love, everyone loves each other. And um, when it's I go. It's funny how that doesn't sometimes happen for a really long time. Like, I right. think that I didn't feel that way towards my mom either until my 20s, where I was like, you know what? I understand you now. I understand mm. everything that you've been through. I understand why you did what you did to me, yeah. why you hurt me as much as you did. I get it. And, um, you know, every, everyone's on this, like, learning curve too and for sure it wasn't until then that i was like whoa i really cannot live without her i absolutely love her what i've always i've always thought about you too is, is that you have a specific kind of look i forget the cross-eyed thing but um I, <laughs> let's just cancel that let's I, cancel that but so my point is, is that he really totally is, is. <laughs> but um <laughs> 
He's just so I can't even look. I can't even look at him. He's closing his eyes now. Yeah, 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 Our guest yeah, has closed yeah, his yeah, eyes, yeah, so we yeah, can't yeah. look at him. Now you're but making me self conscious. I, <laughs> I got to do the whole just show. Like just, this. Close, just close it. Just close it. <laughs> it confuses everyone in the room. It's like, where is he looking? You know? <laughs> but, um, but what I've always thought about you is, is that you. Um, you could actually become like a, be an actor. You're an actor. Like you could book shit. That you book. really think so? That yeah, book. but do you go out a lot? No, I mean I don't even want to be an actor. <laughs> but I mean, why? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go to the studios and work in Hollywood. I rather just fund my own films and do that. I don't blame you. Yeah. Wow. So you don't ever want to be accepted. Like I've always had this thing. Like I gotta get accepted to by my peers and oh, by the mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To feel I did. I did when a um, couple couple of years into be, trying to do entertainment and stuff. Right. Yeah. And then I was like, they're just people. Why do I gotta be accepted by them? I don't even know them. Right. Yeah. Whoa. See, I wish I had that. You know. You know what's crazy? I got something for you. So. Oh, uh huh. So um. <clears throat> One of the biggest inspirations for me was you <laughs> to, to, to do stuff. He loves to hear this yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> Let me show you something. This is crazy. Uh -huh, all right. Uh -huh. I want you to look at this picture. Uh -huh. That's us 13 years ago. Oh, my God. Where is that? That's you. Yes. Look I'm bald. That. And at the time, I was a drug dealer. And I had no, I, like, I had no aspirations of becoming an is entertainer. Is that Bart? No, no, no. Uh -oh. Those two guys are uh -oh. other people. Yeah, yeah. That, you were my first stand-up comedy show in Las Vegas. I'd never been to a stand-up show before. Oh, my God. And that was, I think, um, I think it's the Q now, but I forgot. It was behind the Imperial Palace, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that? this is Harris. 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 Yeah. Harris, Harris, right? yeah. Is that during and Kim's Bobby comedy? has no. a, a mohawk. I had a mohawk. Yeah. Wow. wow. I, I did it one time. Honestly, wow. though, for a quick second, I thought that was Bobby. <laughs> Sweetie, that guy kind of looks like you too. Well, he's he's Korean, so yeah, yeah. That's look, crazy. Look at, you yeah. look like a thug there. Yeah, that's amazing. So so it's crazy because when I saw you on stage at that time, yeah. I was like, man, an Asian guy putting it down. This is this oh, is wow, awesome, right? Because wow. in my mind, it it just wasn't possible for Asians to do anything mm -hmm. in entertainment. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's it's crazy that. You know, you come onto my channel, my shows, you do sketches with us, and it's like, I never really talked to you about this stuff, mm. but it's like, when you look back, you were one of the people that that made me do JK. Mm. Just by example, just by oh, seeing you shit, up on stage. Man. And you, you don't have so much Let me just love. say, you don't, have, you don't have, you have cross eyes. <laughs> They're straight as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was just a joke. <laughs> All right, you're a laser eye. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Like if you were a jet, Right, and you were shooting things. Perfect. It wouldn't go pew, like in inward. It would go yeah. out. All right, you would like shoot the target. Right? Yes, yeah, like Cyclops. Yes. Yeah, yeah man. But let me say this too, and I'm gonna give you a compliment. You fucking f a guy. Okay. With good eyes. <laughs> nip, 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 nip. I like nip, that. Nip. I'm gonna say. All right. You know when I when I was trying to promote my channel and promote myself on the internet because. Things were drying up for me a little bit in Hollywood. I was like, I gotta figure something out, and I, you know, and I, and that is when I met George, and I go, George, what do I do? And he goes, Let's reach out to Just Kidding News. I, try, I, I, I reached out to you guys, and also Timothy Delagramo. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Delaghetto. Whatever. <laughs> but and I, I did one thing with Timothy Delagramo, and then um, I, yeah, I like him, you know, yeah. but um. But then I did it with you guys, and I, I remember really liking. Remember, I drove out there the first time and yeah, we did those sketches. I remember. And then I did it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so no, that first time was through Geo. Yep. It was through Geo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I mean, I thank you for putting me on your stuff too. <laughs> oh but God. you never said anything then. Um, I just didn't want to come off all weird, you know? Like it's it and. At the time, I wasn't really thinking about the connection, and I was mm. looking, cleaning through my computer the other day, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. I, I mean, it was 13 years ago. Wow. And I do remember feeling like, "Man, this is so awesome seeing this guy go on stage." And you gave our group so much love. Like we would, we would kind of uh, talk in in the middle of your set, but you of would join you would. in. And then we would laugh together. Right. And I didn't know what heckling was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was just having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we would yell stuff at you, and then you were you were just giving us so much love, and you were just basically roasting everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's freaking awesome. 
Wow. Well, Comes you know what? It's a tender. Yeah. It's a full circle of life. Dreamweaver. Yeah, it's Ruth, crazy, isn't it? You're the Dreamweaver. You know what? And I've I've been waiting for many years for you to say that. I say it like once every three months. Yeah, nosotros papaya to you, my friend. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going to say something about nosotros papaya. What does that mean? It means we are papaya. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm telling you right now Nos, nostros papayas, eh, nosotros nosotros papaya. Papaya. If, Without the if, S if, Let me say something right now right? Yeah, right. Tiger Belly If I if I came up with Nosotros Papaya Before Tiger Belly I think this will, podcast would be I think that, that would, we should change our name To no, Nosotros no, 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 Papaya No 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 but shirts though we'll shirts. make shirts like yeah. that Yeah yeah I really enjoy it It's so good Because we are papaya If you know it's it's loony when I first came up with it, yeah. when I told Kalila that, I said one day I just looked, I leaned down and I go, I go, papaya. Well, it's a song of yours. It is. A, it Along with Save the Pelican. <laughs> Save the Pelican. Oh, I've never heard that And Tito oh, Rico. Awesome. Tito Rico Tito. is another, another one. Another one is Fiddler, Father, Urban Mother. <laughs> Are you going to come out with the album? Mixtape. We I may or may not, man. Please. Please do. Please do it. Now, um, so you don't, so you don't want to do any kind of mainstream. You don't have an agent or anything like that. Uh, I, I do. I do. Who's your um, agent? Uh, I don't know if I should say. I don't know if these are secrets or. Oh right, well, okay. Yeah, but hey, I'm uh, well, I have a, it's no, I have a there. manager, not an agent, and um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you? But what? But, oh, wait, wait, like, just, I was, it, do why I want to act? Uh, no, I'm just saying that it's not really a secret. <laughs> it's all an IMDb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you know, I'm with CAA, and yeah, but that's um, a little like you're bragging. Exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> he has not want to Oh, that, that's exactly what I'm doing. No, so just buy buy to you, okay? Uh, no, but okay. So you have a manager, and do you ask her like, you don't ask her like, can you send me out on stuff? Oh, because I don't want to audition. So uh, when they were bringing back um, in Living Color, yeah, uh, yeah, me and Bart, we auditioned for that, and oh, we cool. both got the role. And I was like, whoa, two Asians, that's freaking awesome. But during the time, they saw YouTube as a threat. So whatever network was trying to do it, they said we can't post anything on YouTube during that time. Yeah, uh, and we got like you know ten people that were paying at the time, and I was like, ride or die, man. I can't, I can't take the show. But it didn't even go on air. Yeah. So I was like, cool. After that, um, I was just thinking like, we already have a fan base that loves us. Why should I go out there and try to do auditions? You right. know, like, and then if anything, I could fund my own thing. So. I okay. Here's my argument with you, though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is for me. You. I. I, I know. I'm not. I know. I'm not. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll tell you why. Thing. <laughs> Can I tell you why? Please. Because I think a lot of it, and if don't get me wrong, you may disagree. Okay. A little bit of it is fear. Oh yeah, I'm afraid. That, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, huge, yeah. That's a huge, huge, part huge of thing. It. Yeah. You don't want to fail. And number two, I don't want to waste my time either. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, a. It, it seemed. You know yeah. what? It was so funny because I was with Theo Vaughn mm -hmm. today in the car, and he goes, "Yo, man." <laughs> he goes, "Yo, man, fuck auditions. I'm done." Right? I go, "You don't do them anymore." He goes, nah, I don't get them. <laughs> you mean you don't, you get auditions? No, I never get the job. I'm done. It's a waste of time. And I go, that's the best. I learned this from Kalila. Oh, I, whoa. She's a good acting coach. No, I no, no. I learned this from Kalila. coach. I have the same mentality as you do. Ask her. Yes. I fucking hate it. But you get on shows. But I go on out. Right. You gotta buy the lottery ticket if you. You want. gotta buy a lottery ticket, and and, and I don't care what. Gotta. I don't care what you pay produce. to play, you know. I don't care what you produce or you what you you know what, you, the, the the likelihood of you, creating a Game of Thrones, or Walking Dead, or a show like that. Right. Is it you know. You may not be able to do that. But you right? don't know, though. I understand that. When I, I'm 60, I might be able to write something. I that understand that. You know what I, mean? I, I, I know, I know. But what I'm Japanese saying, but, to, but to, to, to get it off the ground, right? You know, to get the production and the direct, you know what I mean? Right. And a studio to do it and all that stuff. It's just, it's insane, right? Right. But you could audition for a show like that mm -hmm. and get it. Right. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, fuck. You not only do you have your Just Kidding Films fans, mm -hmm. but you have uh, so many more people, and it's, you're going to reach so many more people, is what I'm saying. Why is that oh, 100%. Bad? No, no. I just have a different game plan. So well, I, our, our, I don't... Oh, it's, it's not that I don't want to be an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just feel like it might be better if I fund it myself yeah. versus going to a studio, and then I have a brand. Like, I have my personality. I don't want them to put me in a different role that might ruin that. Oh, 
People have different routes. No, 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 no I'm, try, I'm trying to think about it. So, so can, I, can no. I tell you my game plan? Yeah, yeah, go okay, ahead. Okay, so my game plan is, so we just finished the script, right? Yeah, yeah. We, go to, we, we basically go to different production companies. We're going to sell this script. Shop we're tied it. into it as actors. So we're one-shot package. Mm. And we, yeah. come, we can fund it if we need to in, with the production you know, company's team, like mm -hmm. uh, help. So with that, I think going in with more power is a lot better than becoming uh, you know, an actor in one of their stories. But also, I don't want to be like an actor actor, whereas some people are really good at playing that game. I think I just want to fulfill roles that I write. Mm. Yeah. Master plan. Sorry, it's a great Barbie. plan. I think uh, <laughs> everything that you said, though, I, I'm, I'm listening to because I want Tiger Belly to somehow spawn off into something like that. And that's real. You're, you've maybe be giving me, giving me some sort of inspiration. Okay. I think that this crew can do some things too, you know? This kid right here, Gilbert, right? That's this guy man, is yeah. super talented, right? Yeah, I saw he's in she, one of my buddy's uh, short, uh, series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kalila, she was acting wow. today on a Comedy Central <laughs> show. Really? Yeah, she no. put makeup, yeah. And she's a wonderful host for MMA. Yeah, she's, shows. yeah, you gotta see her gotta, hosting We gotta ability. show it to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about cross-eye. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Battle, welcome to Battle Long Beach. <laughs> I did this thing years ago. <laughs> Filipino? Battle Long Beach. <laughs> I did this MMA show years ago and they will never let it go. And she's like sweating, right? You could tell oh, that they've been- You know, yeah, sitting yeah. by an octagon and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. was, and they were feeding me lines because I couldn't remember anything oh. and I was just so inorganic and I was awful. Oh, she, really fun. she already has anxiety I, too. Hell no, even thinking about it, my hands sweat. Yeah. I, I think I, I, I didn't have fun at all, and I it was for friends too, and I let them down completely. They probably thought, "Wow, she's really gonna kill." It wasn't it. that yeah. bad. It I was enjoyed awful. It. Like my body was just so stiff in one direction. <laughs> I didn't want to move, and well, just beads of sweat were coming. Like I just a fucking sweat stash. Oh man, it's it's you know I I feel like I've known you. I know you a little bit more now. <laughs> you know the upbringing, your dad. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? How you started the, your your journey. Um. Did that thing that you just showed me with me it really f kind of tripped me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Because you know what? I only did that week one time and I really remember it. Really? I don't remember you. Yeah. But I remember that week. Did I you live in Vegas? No, no. no. It was uh, my friend's 21st birthday or something like that. Oh, so, so you we weren't even, you were just, you just happened to be there. Paths yeah. crossed. That week, and the reason why I was crossed. probably nice to him is because of the fact that somewhere along that week, I was at a Geraldine. There's a Geraldini's ice cream place. Giardelli's. Giardelli's. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Geraldini's. Let's open Geraldine's. our own. Let's open our own. <laughs> um, I don't like when people do that. I'm sorry. Because you guys know what I was talking about. Well, not in not I at didn't first. Know what that was. Well, actually, he it didn't it didn't even click in his head. Only in mine. I, I, I'm, I gonna, I'm gonna give you. I was eating at a live garden. <laughs> what was yeah, that? What sounds like saying? a vegetarian Olive, spot. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Right there, you go. Another one. <laughs> right? Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. Let's get it. All right. All right. We can get it first. Get the point. I was eating at Baca de Popo. Buca de Popo. Yes. Depo. There we go. I mean, okay. it's that simple. You're right. I apologize. Right. I could do another one. Give me uh, one. I was at a Kiki's. Ooh, oh, that's a hard oh, one. Oh, that's a hard one. Hold on a second. Coco's? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? Good. Chili's. Chili's. I was eating a, a last night. I was drunk, man. I was eating at Lenny's. Danny. Danny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so what I'm saying, though, is, is that it's easy to do if you try. All right? Yeah. Yeah. I ate a, I ate a, you know, a sandwich at 3 in the morning at Railway. Subway. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? No, because you said. So Geraldini's, I said. You said Geraldine's. Whatever, <laughs> ice cream. No, because they're they're known for chocolate. <laughs> oh. I don't know this place. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, 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 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know this place. Nosotros, <laughs> Nosotros papaya to you. Um, oh. It was during the day, and there was all these like fat. You know, middle American Americans, and they're just <laughs> eating these gigantic Perfectly. sundaes with nuts on it, right? Nice people, I'm sure. Oh, great, great people, and they're gonna influence our country in a great way. Yeah, just because yeah. they're fat. No, they, they, they it's. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not even go there. Don't even get me started on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, I remember sitting there and dipping my ice cream there, and I remember biting in it and go, "I'm gonna kill myself." Hmm. Because that was right when when I had that mohawk, 
It was right when after Mad TV, uh-huh. right? And then nothing, nothing happening in mm. my career. Oh, that time. Yeah, oh. and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. And also that gig, you do 16 shows, Monday through Monday. Wow. So you're there from Monday through Sunday, right? You do two shows a night, mm-hmm. and then like on Friday you do a couple. You do extra on the weekends. Yeah. And they, they they'll do a show regardless who's in the audience. So a Monday first show is five people who got the coupon, at mm-hmm. the you know got the tra- <laughs> the the pack at the at the desk, mm-hmm. and they oh there's a comedy show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was us. Was that you guys yeah, got a coupon? Really, I got the coupon. Saw, oh, comedy show. We never, yeah, let's check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was <laughs> one of, probably, I was there, you know who I opened for me? Aaron Cater. Oh. And that was one of the worst weeks of my life. And it's so interesting that he pulled that up. Because in my desperation there, and in my bottom, I met a future kid. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's all nosotros. The mm-hmm. Papaya. Papaya. Bye. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting to me, man. Because it was like a negative week for you, but it ended up being positive. And that's another thing, is that you could be at your lowest, mm-hmm. but you don't know who you're affecting. Oh yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. You know, you could just be like in a bad place and this and that, but you know, you know when they say when something bad happens, they go, "Well, there's a re- there might be a reason." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there. There could be. And you're his catalyst. You know, or maybe I'm just like talking out of my ass right now. Maybe. Yeah. You never know. You know, you we were family now, you and me. <laughs> Did you know that? Blood brothers. Excuse me. <laughs> Blood brothers. Oh, okay. I was like, do oh, you, was that do you, now, are you competitive with other Asian groups? No. You like I, Tim, you like Timothy Delgado. Yeah, I actually want, <laughs> you know, most Asians to just go out there because there's so many different What do you mean most? <laughs> right? See, you, what do you mean most? Not Key, all. Keyword. Right, right. Because there's some frauds. Uh, well, oh, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting yeah. at, right? So you have some fraud groups out there. Right. Uh, you don't have yeah, to name yeah. names. Mm-hmm. I would love you to, but you don't have to. Okay? <laughs> no, I, I don't. Names. Okay, <laughs> you don't have to, but l- let me ask you this. What makes some frauds? Oh, yeah, that's good. Um... The way that they are in person. Now we're in entertainment, so in most cases, when when it's off camera, you're gonna be a little bit different, right? Mm-hmm. But um, I just don't like certain people that portray like a goody two shoes or something when they're not. Right. Because it's 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 just fraudulent, you know. It's uh, like why 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 are you doing that? Yeah. Or um, people that do sensational content that just you know they just want views, but it's pretty bad for society. Stuff are like they that. are they Asians or just in groups in general? Oh, in the broader spectrum, yeah. That yeah. that I don't like in general. So in if general. an Asian does it too, I'm just even more like, fuck. There's only yeah. a few of us. Yeah. Why are you being like that? When, but when, in the for the most part, ninety nine percent of Asians on YouTube are yeah. cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. When Asians are good stand ups, I love them. Oh yeah. I really do. Yeah. You same know. Here. I mean, even Kevin Shea, who I don't really get along with. Yeah. I think he's a good stand up. He's a really good stand-up. He's very funny. I fucking hate him as a person. But he's a good stand-up. Um, even guys like... There are guys like that. Like, you know... Um, <laughs> even or, you know, um, Shane Shane Wang or... You know him? Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Like fresh off the boat. Oh, yeah, Elliot, oh. Elliot um, Chang. Elliot Chang is a nerd. We don't... He's a YouTube guy. Too. Yeah, no, but he's very funny as a stand-up. Mm-hmm. And then the, when they're bad, though, it, it I, I get the reverse... Thing like I hate them, right? Because you don't want them to represent us. That's what it exactly. is, dude. I yeah. hate fobs. I don't know why. <laughs> I love fobs, but not fobs with accents. That's not what I mean. Right. I, I've already said it on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's like, yeah, there's so a what, guy. What, is, what do you mean by a fob? mentality? It's there a mentality. is a um a not coolness about them. Yeah. I just like Margaret Cho. She has got tattoos. She's cool. Yeah, she's cool. her her point of view. Just everything about her is like I just love it. It's it, it's the image that I want. It could be she could be like a yakuza slave. Yeah, you know, you know, like you know, like yeah. you know, a, a, in a yakuza den, and she's like a madame. She's cool. You know yeah. what I mean? I think we're talking about the same thing then, because you have a really good bullshit filter. And for me, it's like if you're gonna go up there and try hard, 
you're a fucking tryhard. You try to be cool. I don't like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, people yeah. can't see it. Yeah. I think that's what you oh, can see. Oh, you can see. Yeah, it's the tryhard. Oh, the tryhards yeah. don't see the other tryhards. You know what I <laughs> exactly. mean? But the real, they see the real yeah. tryhards. You know? We're going to take a moment for our sponsors, guys. Oh, was another? Do you do it again? No, uh, she just came up with that. Uh, Brooke Lennon. He's been holding that sign for like 20 minutes now. Well, let's take a listen. Just not when you looked over. You know what, guys? What? When I die and if I go to heaven mm -hmm. and when God gives me away my wings as an angel, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to say nah. Why? I want to use Brooklyn sheets as wings. No, just as a shawl. Oh. Cause it's so it's like heavenly. I see. It. Soft, and I'm gonna walk around with it, and people are gonna go, "What is that?" And it's gonna be a big thing in heaven. Cleopatra, George Clooney, they're all gonna wear it. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really is with the sheets that um, Kalila, Kalila, Kalila and I use. If you look at any photograph of Bobby and I in bed. Yeah, it's Brooklinen. We use Brooklinen. Yeah, so guys. Um, if you want to be like us, you too should have Brooklinen <laughs> really, sheets. It really is cool, man. It is. And, um, you know, I, I'm going to use them forever. It's Tell them about it. Well, the Slup <laughs> Kingdom and us, we love our Brooklinen sheets. Brooklinen.com has an exclusive offer just for Tiger Belly listeners. Get $20 off and free shipping when you use the promo code BELLY at Brooklinen.com. Brooklinen is so confident that they offer a, uh, a, a risk-free 60-night satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime warranty on all their sheets and comforters. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code BELLY at uh, Brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com, promo code BELLY. Brooklinen. These are the best sheets ever. Bingo. Wow. Wow. Uh, Brooklyn is the sheets. sheets. The best. You like the sheets? You like them, Joe? Huh? <laughs> I wasn't listening. Sorry. You were what, advertisements, what advertisements do you do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't get many sponsorships. Uh, so yeah. what's, your, what's your guys' thing with Mac, uh, McDonald's? <laughs> oh, you have, they have beef with McDonald's yeah. Corporation. So I think it's like an inside joke that we had for a while because Gio said that she didn't like McDonald's and mm -hmm. all of us love McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So we were just going in on her. Oh. And then all of our fans just for months went on their Instagram, Twitter, and then just told them, sponsor JK Films. And oh. I, uh, okay, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna tell you some McDonald's dishes. I'm gonna, cause some I like. Some of them like the, like the best shit. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is good. What do you think? French fries? Number one? Rate yes. the French French fries. Oh, out of all the stuff? Yeah. Yes. I, I like the, the French I fries. I think the French yeah, fries yeah. are number one. Mm -hmm. But my yeah. number two is their apple pie thing. Ooh. Yeah. Have you had the taro one in Hawaii? <gasps> no. They have a taro one? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. just got fancy on mm -hmm. me, huh? Taro, huh? Yeah, ube. What else do you like from McDonald's? Nuggets? Yes. Nuggets and just regular hamburger because it's so nostalgic. Not only that, it's so easy to eat. Tiny. Yep. Yeah. They're small. They're not. They don't ever hurt my stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they're, they're they're just the ketchup is more ketchupy or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really <laughs> it's good. Different. I want to eat it tonight. No, don't do it. What about breakfast? Do you have a favorite? Uh, oh, what's yours? I, oof, I like the, the uh, sausage egg McMuffin. Boom. That's mine too. Done. Yeah. The uh, the big breakfast or the one with the hot cakes and everything. Oh, you like oh, that one? Oh, slant. you do that. Yeah, yeah, You're like yeah, a country yeah. kind of a guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> their pancakes are good? I've never had a pancake there. Yeah, their pancakes They're are really good. They call good. them hotcakes. Yeah, yeah hotcakes. Yeah, hot cakes. Yeah. Del Taco or Taco Bell? Ta Hold on one second. Taco, Taco. Before I, you say Del say, yeah. Taco, you guys have to drive to the Del Taco in Baker in, in um, Barstow. Oh. It's different. It's the best. Yes, it's different. Why? It's worth the drive. Yeah. I'm telling they you. They make their tacos. I'm different. not driving. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not driving into Barstow to get no motherfucking Del Taco. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now, my friends. Bra, bra. So it's halfway between for you guys who aren't familiar. <laughs> you out of your fucking mind. Barstow <laughs> is halfway is between here and Las Vegas. Yeah, so it's about stop? two so hours what's away. A two hour drive to eat Del Taco. I've done it. Jesus. Just for Del and Taco. And you're dumb and you're I've, retarded. I've also driven four hours to a place in Mexico. Um, it's called El Original oh. for some tacos and tortas. It's the best place. That's fine. Like, like I'll, I'll give you an example. Remember that place, that barbecue place in San Diego that like... Uh, Phil's. Right? Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. yeah Phil's yeah, yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I lo I would drive two hours to go there. Mm hmm Right? I would drive many hours for certain foods. Right? But not Del Taco. 
try the del taco. It's wait, different. Wait, 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 why is it different then? Tacos are bigger. They mm -hmm. put like tomatoes and they season it a little bit different. And the chicken is really yeah. big and chunky and fresh. And the cheese is different. The lettuce is different. I don't know why that del taco is it's just so different. Good. You've been to that specific yeah, one? I know which one you're talking I mean, about. It's always yeah. crowded there. It's packed because people know this is the best del mm -hmm. taco in the country. And I'm a big del taco lover. So You know what it is? What it what is it? What if it says it, you think it's del taco, but it's not? What is it? What it's like there's two L's in it. Or you just didn't realize. <laughs> you never realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. The laco. Well, oh, there's no A. It's a that the del taco. taco. Del taco. You know what I mean? It's Japanese. Is it? It's Japanese cuisine. Is it del taco? Yes, it is. It's, it's like del taco. why would they make it? And so it's retro and stuff. Here's like, what we're gonna do. We're gonna like, do a yeah. vlog. <laughs> we're gonna go to Barstow. And we're going to Barstow for a fucking. Del Hold taco on, can trip. we? For reference, we should go to one down the street. Eat their um, soft. I don't need to do that because I've soft taco eaten there. fucking del taco before. It's one. There's one right by my but parents' But I know, house. but you have to remind yourself of what it, what the standard is it in is LA, different. and then to have one over there. Well, my brother and our, I are in at our parents' house. This is what we do. We play video games. Then we'll go. Let's go to Del Taco. We go to Del Taco. Then we go to Target. We get Pringles. We get um, <laughs> we get Pringles. We get the little, you know what I mean? Spongers. The washer, and we make the vaginas. <laughs> yeah. And we fuck <laughs> that, and then we eat more Del Taco and play video games. You yeah. build pee pee bags together. Yeah. You want this? That's so you awesome. Want do you want this? It. We should gift it to to Joe. I mean, I, oh, if this is our friend, okay this is our friend, um, Asa oh, Kira. That's Asa's yeah, this is her flashlight. vagina. You know, they. I've science. tried flashlights before. They're not as good as you my can't girlfriend. Use? No. All right. Well, then I'll, you, you can give I'll this to her. But it's yeah. Asa's flashlight. I'll give, I'll give, Bob, I'll give this, this to her. her. No, I actually tried flashlight before. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, even warmed up, it doesn't feel as good. He he prefers like it? it. Oh, that's awesome. That is. That's awesome. I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. What, 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 is, what are these dicks? Okay, they, so they I don't texted get hard Asa, and I was yeah. like, what are what are these 57 multicolored penises that you sent me? <laughs> yeah. And she thinks they're just party favors. She doesn't know either. Because they're just flaccid penises. Pull them out. Pull them I, out. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, so I, she I, sent you the? Yeah, Asa sent us. Why you sent open like a Doritos bag? Awesome. <laughs> they're delicious. No, Yo. but these, look at this. So they're, it, you can't stick in your vagina. I can't, no. It's so flaccid. Yeah, what yeah. What is it for? It's Dude, if my dick was this big, Oh my God! Hold are you gonna suck it? What are you doing? No. You... Hey, Bobby, stop! Stop, Bobby! Bobby, stop! No, but seriously. What? I... Oh shit! Oh shit! I've never sucked. It. I have. Do not do that. Do not. What do you do for it? Bobby? Stop! Oh. No, but just listen, listen. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. Baby. oh my God! You suck a good dick, babe. Oh my God, babe! Oh shit! <laughs> Oh. There's like I a clay on it. I can't take that one home. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or can I? It's, oh, yeah. Sweetie, there's it's like a autograph. Oh, there's God. cum on it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> it looks like a fucking slug. Babe, you suck good dick. <laughs> Thank you. It's Thank very you. tender. Thank you. That's, Damn, very you were tender. really delicate with it. Too. Very I'll tell you why. Because you want to know. What, what, you, you, you've you had your dick sucks. So you know what you like. Sometimes it's also, like He's actually legit sucking though. <laughs> what? Oh. But you've also sucked real dick. Before. I've heard. In, in when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing on time? We're ready for a question. What, what, what are we doing on time now? No, almost an hour. That's okay, good. good. Oh, that was fast. It was really fast. Yeah. Um, we do um, unhelpful advice. They uh, they ask a question, you answer it. Okay. Do two. Okay. Do we'll two? do two. Yeah. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and JoJo. Hi, Tiger Belly. Wanted to start off by saying I absolutely love the podcast and all of you. Long time listener, first time emailer. Unhelpful advice. So this month, I've been celebrating the one-year anniversary since I broke up with my toxic and abusive boyfriend. We were together for four years, but I couldn't be more happy and proud by, uh, of myself for making the decision to leave a year ago. After the breakup, I went straight to self-care and started doing things for me. I got into new hobbies, finally started a nursing program, and I was postponing and uh, finally started a nursing program that I was postponing and traveled to places I've never been. I feel like I did everything right when it comes to a breakup, and I had a lot of growth because of it. But within the past few weeks, I've been having flashbacks of times when me and my ex were still together, the good and bad. They seem to come out out of nowhere. The good memories leave me depressed and the bad memories give me uh, many anxiety attacks. Usually I'm able to take deep breaths to refocus my thinking, but recently it's been getting harder to do that. Is this just a phase that everyone goes through? How do you deal with flashbacks of bad memories? How do you deal with flashbacks of good memories about a bad ex? Thanks for taking the time to read this email. Respectfully, Clarissa, faithful member of the Slept Kingdom. 
Well, the human, you have flashbacks with all, uh, different events in your life. That's what the mind is there for, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. At least it's not a war that you're having a flashback on, you know? <laughs> it might have been. Maybe it was a really abusive relationship. Maybe, we don't know the I'm, extent of But my how point, though, is, is that I think that I'm not a, a scientist of the mind. I don't have a medical degree, but I, I have flashbacks. I think that flashbacks is a part of just a mechanism that what the mind does. Mm hmm and there's some good events you know and ba bad events i have I, I have flashbacks on shit that's like random and, and and you know i have them on auditions i have them on what my dad used to do mm -hmm. i have them on weird relationships or you know you know different things mm -hmm. and you you feel sad about them and this i mean that i think that's just a part of having a brain yeah i can speak to the good flashbacks i think that that's just the n the normal course of anything um, especially when you've had distance with that person, you, that, that, I don't know, like for instance, I was in a really, really tumultuous relationship where the guy basically threatened my life. Mm -hmm. And I, at the moment that he was threatening me, I thought to myself, God, like I can't fucking wait for this to be over and to never hear from him again, to never see him again. But three years fast forward and you start to, all of those super like hard feelings go away and you're like, huh. I wonder how he's doing and it's not real it's not like you have it it, it doesn't mean anything other than like a, a bit of like a curiosity that's kind of like surfaces and it's it's what nothing what why are you doing that i'm kidding why i don't have flashbacks about any girl <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, it's not that's like fine. in a way that oh i want to get back with that person i just think it's a yeah. natural course of how memories work I, you know i have flashbacks on like things i like one time um, I shouldn't be saying this, but um, well, <laughs> I had a girlfriend who she was like, she, I go, jerk me off a little bit, and, she, and, and so she, she, she tried to do it. I go, it's not a joystick, and she went, stop it, and she started crying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Poor so, girl. But it is well, not. Well, it's a not joystick. a joystick. You right. got to be gentle, you yeah. know. But like, also, you had a flashback. I remember of that girl who was on top of you and she was she thought she was like really bomb at sex but she was doing the sideways oh, like I riding hated fucking that she's doing the side ride she <laughs> didn't know how to go up and down she did like a saddle thing doesn't even feel good it, it doesn't no it feels like your dick's being ripped <laughs> from the roof that's how you yeah. break the base yeah yeah <laughs> but that's a, that was Nightmare. her only move that was her only move just side to side those never worst, once up and down those are the worst ones because like you know when you're younger you think good sex means doing 16 different positions yeah. and it's yeah. not good sex could be like missionary and that could be the best sex right. ever yeah 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 it, she probably thought she was getting really creative and she didn't know she was breaking your dick <laughs> but she didn't we did it a couple times she didn't do it there was no other alt alt alter different moves uh, that's all she that's did that's all she did was like a hula hoop thing <laughs> that I sounds hate. not yeah so it's a meat grinder what do you think about um um memory bad yeah. flashbacks well i think she's asking because she wants to um find out if there's a different way to cope because mm. um um i think you know listening to tiger belly and all that it's like obviously you went through a lot of pain and suffering mm -hmm. yeah and she probably looks up to you and your advice and and she's probably asking how do i deal with it yeah it's you know, it's it, it's just one of those things you just kind of live with it like it's l luggage. Or you yeah. can talk to somebody about it, a professional. I think that she probably hasn't reconciled mm. truly. Even if she thinks she's found closure or she's moved on, maybe there's a part of her that still feels really threatened by the idea of having this really abusive past with this person. So she needs to reconcile with that and speak to somebody. You know, Eric I Gr see a therapist. Eric Griffin that... told me, Eric, we were having dinner and he goes, yo, man, you should watch see a therapist mm -hmm. and I thought about it he goes it's really helped me out and I go no I like the luggage well oh. I mean you're you subconsciously probably do this but you're a com you're a comic so you know how to cope and change your story and and you know how to make light of it maybe you have the tools and some people right. don't no I don't maybe, maybe I, <laughs> it, 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 I'm just saying right now yeah. I know for a fact that if I saw a therapist it would clear a lot of things up mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be so depressed but I want to carry the luggage. I, you know, someone said this. I think he, it was a guy on the Joe Rogan podcast. I forget where I heard, I heard it. But people who are very balanced and self-actualized are the least funny people. Like, you oh, know, yeah, think about true. your friends who are really zen and who are re they're never funny. 
Never. That's true. Because they're too calm. What they are, that? and they're like, they, they, you know, they, oh God, can you stop farting? That was so like the miniature machine gun. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I call it the M16. That's an M16? Yeah, I really looked around. What is that? I think that um, yeah. you should you should definitely talk to somebody and decompress and yeah yeah I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me that. Give me another one. <laughs> Hello guys, I hope you are all well. Love the podcast. I'm from London. Uh, when will Bob tour England? Question. Nope, never. Okay. I want to propose to my girl this year nope. or next. Any ideas how I should make it extra special? Kate talks about how she isn't a lovely mushy girl. So is mine. But I think all girls secretly want that moment to be slightly special. I, Don't you agree? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I heard about the best one last night. What was it? Because I was in Chicago with Jade Catapretta. Mm -hmm. And Jade has a friend named Jeannie who's a baker. Yeah. And she's she's getting married this Filipino guy. And we all had dinner together. Right? And the way he proposes, Jeannie fell asleep. Right? And he just slipped the ring on, oh. her finger, on her finger. Oh, my God. Asleep. They gave me, like, goosebumps. Oh, that's Ooh. good. Right? And then um, Jamie went to the, go to the bathroom and she was kind of looking at her hands and she saw the ring. Oh my God, I would that's cry. Awesome. Right? Oh my God, that's the best actually. It's, it's the best cool. one, right? And then he was around the corner. He goes, will you marry me? Oh Damn. my God. You know I mean? That's okay, it. But that's see, it. You should have never told me that because you could have used that and oh. I would have just. He's going to sneak it in your butt when you. No, Ooh. mine's going to be different. <laughs> yeah. I know yours your... is going to be yeah. different. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think what he should do it's is. It's going to be like uh, a nose ring. And there's blood. What the fuck? <laughs> I think a pretty good marriage proposal would be if he hired a bunch of goons to uh -huh. kidnap her oh, and then he comes out and he beats them all up and then at the end he's like will you marry me oh, oh so you're yeah. a hero yeah. you're, you're a hero, hero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then everyone like gets yeah. up and they're yeah. like yay wow that's a good one yeah. yeah yeah with her I'm gonna do this I'm gonna have a, it's gonna be in a cockroach <laughs> the ring her I worst fear okay. yeah, yeah it'll be wrapped around like a so I'll be running cockroach. away from my ring yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I got, if you want to get married so I have to <laughs> stomp on the roach to get the ring yeah and you won't do it I will never it. do it so we're not gonna get married <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I can always say I tried you, cause you, are, you did try you did try you did try that's I tried genius next is that it does that's it do? yeah that's it Joe Overdose that's your that's your handle Joe uh, no, no, underscore it's, it's, overdose. It's Joe Jitsukawa now on on Instagram. Joe Jitsukawa. Yeah. Yep. Um, it was like talking to family, man. It's it's and weird, I was so tired. Yeah. I was really tired right now. Dude, yeah. I'm honestly like, I had one hour of sleep last night. Oh man, you were. And I flew in. I had to do this fucking thing with Theo and stuff. I was so fucking tired. Wait, can we just touch on the Olympics real quick before we go? You, you want to do an Olympic talk? Go ahead. No, I, I, I don't seen know one if anyone has watched it but me. Chloe, Have you? Chloe Kim. Oh yeah, she's a uh, half. Uh, the half Korean. Yeah. I just know it's a bunch of Asians right now. A lot now. of Asians <laughs> representing it's all US. Asian right? people. America. There's. Is it really all no, Asians just like, representing? Like there's the only skating, twelve. Like the skating team is all Asian. Oh okay. Oh, what about the gay skating. dudes? I like the gay dudes a lot. Uh, let me see. There's there are obviously a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what's your favorite Olympic sport to watch? Curling. No, I don't like the. That's why I, I'm not really. I, you so, know so what I like? I like the figure skating stuff. Me too. I the reason why? No, but I like it when they like fail. Oh, oh, when they fall. <laughs> yeah, when they twist an ankle and you, they do a spin and they fall on their back. And their dreams are crushed. And then they, <laughs> what my favorite is this, is they try to get back up, but they, you know what I mean? They broke it, you know, but they still try to do it. To finish it off. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, <laughs> it's like four years of training down yeah. the tubes in one moment. I love it. I like um, the outfits. Yeah. yeah What's yeah. your favorite like, sport uh, to Captain watch? Crunch. On the Olympics? Yeah, uh, Winter Olympics. The winter? I actually don't watch it. But <laughs> I do watch... Today I was watching some uh, bobsledding. Oh, I it love... It was like the single... Like, that is so yeah. good. I love the... I oh, love the luge. The luge is Was good. luge today? I only like... Uh, e yesterday qualifiers i don't know oh yeah yeah yeah. i, I like the like short I track fucking losing i don't know you see the short the, the koreans are savage with the, with the short track they like trip each other sorry, up what on it... earth are you doing <laughs> sweetie oh is she's he... kissing the dog he's kissing the dog <laughs> that's awesome okay well um gilbert um thank you so much for coming on the show Joe. thanks for having me yeah, any, i had an awesome time <laughs> wait, wait 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 what papa's not done i'm not done <laughs> he's so tired <laughs> Look at me right now. I'm looking at you. Well, end. What am I gonna say? It starts with an end. End. Yeah, end. End. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, nosotros. Para nosotros. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to you and your family. Yeah. Okay. It's a blessing. Gracias. 
cambiazo al segundo, mm. por favor. Muchos. Bien, la Sayana Gara. ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah. Otros. Rafael dos Santos. Rafael dos Santos. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Luke. Oh, yeah, Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold. What the fuck, bro? Ooh, KO. You had it. I thought he was in the pocket. I thought he was doing fine, you know, but he's going to be just a journeyman now. He, I, he was champion at one point, and I just think that's my opinion. My opinion now, no. it's just too heavy now. You got him, you got Jacare, you got Robert Whitaker. So now who's the champion now? Whitaker. Whitaker's still. Whitaker's champion. Yeah. So they got to fight again now? I know, which I didn't want to see. I wanted Luke or, to or fight White, Whitaker. Maybe Weidman, I don't know. Weidman. He just won three That division can't catch a break for some reason. No. I think uh, Whitaker, you don't watch UFC. No, I haven't been catching up. Okay, One fine. of his favorite guys got knocked out oh. cold. Because yeah, he's handsome and he's from California, Santa yeah. Cruz. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thanks for listening to Tiger Belly. God bless you and take care. Good night. Any shows for uh, Bobby? Yes. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we just I am at the... I need help. I need the Irvine Improv this weekend. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, come and support. I love it there. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, Joe, uh, any, any projects coming up? Anything we need to know uh, about you, man? Any businesses to support? I just finished my um, my first script. Nice. Wow. That's a hard thing yeah, to do. So we're going to be pitching that out. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, we'll get that picked up and ready to go. Other than that, no, just watch Just Kidding News, Just Kidding um, Party for game shows. I watched it for the first time. Which Man, one? Just Kidding News? The par- party. 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 That's so fun. I want to play Mafia. That wasn't in the studio I that we were Mafia. at, right? No, it's a different one. That's in downtown LA. So definitely, you guys got to come down. Got to play Mafia. Uh, I watched yeah, yeah, one. I'd love to. I'm always like, why am yeah. I watching this YouTube video? Let's it's do it. <laughs> it's just a game show. We'll just play different games and have fun. Oh, that, that sounds dope. awesome. Yep. And uh, my personal channel, Joe Jitsukawa on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yep. And please try not to actively look for his dad in West LA. Please don't. <laughs> Let's not do that. Not but if you want to make that. a sketch of what you think his dad looks like, send yeah. it in. What do you call those again? Those uh, sketches the, that people do to like find a... Those police sketches? Yeah, police yeah, sketches. Like police sketches. Yeah. 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 I don't know the name. I wonder what There's people a, are Who do. murdered me sketches. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. A guy went on your way out. Careful. Because a guy... Um, there was a murder. murder about a block away. <laughs> awesome, that's good. And they're still circling the area. They they still have their um. Well, they have a perimeter earlier well, about four outside. hours ago. That's okay. He probably he's probably not gonna do it again. Well, he um. <laughs> Jesus, the police. He's still oh, out God. on um. He's not captured. Yeah. So careful on your way out, Joe. Okay, I'll be in my car. <laughs> I'll be clenching my purse real Get tight. Get stabbed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, make sure you follow us on Tiger Belly at Tiger Belly on Instagram, and make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. And emails any questions, unhelpful advice, concerns, hate mail, but don't do those mm. at the tigerbelly at gmail.com. Make sure you uh, look us up on iTunes, give us five stars, only five stars, and write us a comment. Um, you can follow Kalila on all social media at, at Calamity K. Uh, you can follow George and all his sign hold- holdage stuff at Just Instagram, George underscore Kemmel. And we will see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe. That was awesome. That was really fun. That was awesome.